Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Healthy Blue, the Communities of Color Network Tobacco-Free Living, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Hello and welcome to week seven of the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms where we bring you all of the exciting action of the Southern University football program. We come to you each week from Martha's Bistro located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway in Zachary, Louisiana. We invite you to come up, get some of Martha's great food and talk a little bit of Southern football afterwards with coach and I. Of course we come on about five times a week. You can see the graphic there on the screen. And you can also catch us at your leisure at the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom YouTube page, the Facebook page. Uh, so catch it at your leisure. Coach O, great swack win for the Jaguars Saturday night versus Alabama A&M. 35-14 was the final score. Hurricane Nate, thankfully, was not a big factor for Baton Rouge. And the Jaguar Nation didn't get to party like they normally do for tailgating on the bluff. But it was a great win for the Jaguars and a, kind of a, a statement win for the season. Well, as Zach, you know, I really thought the guys came out. It was homecoming. It was always a great environment. But just having an opportunity to win a football game and against a really good football team, I thought we played well in all three phases. Quarterback Austin Howard had himself a great day, 195 yards, two touchdowns. Kendall Catalong had five big catches for 50 yards. Uh, but none more exciting than Mr. Do-It-All, Danny Johnson, lining up on offense and pulling down a 37-yard TD coach. Well, exactly. You know, Danny's one of those players you just got to put the ball in his hands. But, you know, he was able to get a touchdown receiving. That's his first one as a receiver. And, you know, we started three freshman wide receivers. And just to be able to see Austin perform that way, I'll give him some confidence going down the stretch. Herb Edwards also gave you a good night, Coach, running the rock for 120 solid yards. Well, I also believe that when you can run the football and stop the run, you really got a chance to be successful with the offense. And you're right, Herb turned in another great night. On the defensive side of the ball, Coach, Aaron Tiller gave you a sack. Uh, Contavious Preston gave you a sack. But you got great play from Kyle McGregor, Montavious Gaines, DeMario Houston, and of course, Danny Johnson with his third pick six of his career and 17th career interception at, at Southern University. Well, defense played outstanding, you know, and I, I was really proud of the run defense. We held them to 52 yards, and that's been a work in progress, and, you know, we need to duplicate what we did in that football game because they were swarming the football. We got some things worked out, and like you said, a lot of guys stepped up and made plays, and that's how we're going to have to play going down the stretch, and if we do that, I like our chances. Well, let's jump into those highlights and show the folks exactly what transpired at A.W. Mumford Stadium for homecoming 2007. Jaguars take the ball back on a good return, Coach, to start the game. That was Jamar Washington, the true freshman, getting the chance to return one. We talked about Herb Edwards. That was him for five. He gets another six to get us a first down. And then Austin Howard hits Washington for 15 yards. I tell you, man, those, those freshmen are big, and you're starting to see some of their talent. We punted. They got the ball back. Then they punted. Then we got the ball back. And Howard sets up and hits Richardson for six yards line, six yards. Then he comes back to uh, Dylan Beard for a big 37-yard play. And then Edwards takes it in from 13 out on a great touchdown to start the tone. Great tone set. The offensive line did a great job blocking. 7-0 at this juncture with the kick being good. Then, Coach, talk about your defense. Here, Preston gets a great hit along with all of his teammates. They gang tackled him. But right here, this is a missed interception, Coach. Ah, uh, Huff hit him in the hands. He had a chance to make a play. Got to come over that football. We get the ball back. Howard hits Washington for 11. Then he hits Catalon for 10. Field goal sealed Field goal, right, unfortunately, right sealed right right there for Barajas. They get the ball back. Again, Coach, great defensive play. Uh, McGregor is on the stop there. On this next play, DeMario Houston playing lights out. Great open field tackle right there. Uh, this is a great catch by the A&M kid on the ground, Coach. Well, it's about playing, you know, making plays. And 
you know, you got to play 60 minutes. Montavious Gaines with a great play right there with a loss of three. Um, coach, I mean, you just had to be pleased with the, uh, when looking at the film, the way your defense played. Well, they're getting better, and you know, and if we go have any kind of chance at making plays, they're going to have to play well, and they picked a fine time to play well. Lampley comes in for a couple of plays, and he hits um, um, Washington, and he comes back, runs for 14, and then we punt. Great special teams play, Coach. I also noticed on this evening, uh, you had to be pleased with your special teams play. Just keep getting better. You know, that's the challenge is, is to keep getting better. There's another good run by John, and, you know, that's what it's all about. Here's the smalls down in the inside the 10. Just good football all around. Yep, makes it hard for them to score, and they got a star on the five. Danny Johnson picking up a punt and taking it for some good yardage, Coach. That young man can give you all kinds of uh, productivity. And we talk about productivity, there he is, scoring that 37-yard touchdown, Coach. Very talented, man. That's why I tell guys, man, as a coach, you got to be able to put players in position to make plays. And, you know, we, we was able to do that. My, what a hit right there. Big hit right there, Coach. Uh, did you think it was a helmet-to-helmet um, -helmet hit, Coach? Didn't think it was targeting, but again, we, you don't have replay. It's bang-bang. Fishers made a call. We'll send it in and see if we can get a review on it. If it's uphill, I can understand. If it's changed, I can understand. You saw Edwards rip off one for 32 yards. Coach Howard took a couple of sacks in this game. Should he just gotten rid of the ball there, or he, well, got, he got a gamble and try to make it happen? No, nah, we missed the protection there. Running back supposed to step up and take the safety. He came unblocked. Another but big hit right there, that's Coach. That's Montavious Gaines Montavious coming off that Gaines. safety position. He and Augustine are big hitters for you, Coach, on defense. Yeah, and they continue to get better. Nice patience run right there. There you see it. We go into the half, Coach. We're up 14-0. You had to be pleased at that point, huh? Well, you know, I really thought our guys were playing energy and with some energy and playing with some passion and just really locked in mentally. And when they do that, they give us a chance to be successful. Well, stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. When we come back, we'll look at the second half of the Alabama A&M game on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Biggest scratch-off game of the season is here. It's Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery. Your chance to win up to $100,000. Scratch the back for an extra game. Enter the second chance drawings for VIP suite experiences, a deluxe limo experience, a tunnel team experience, official autograph team merchandise, and the grand prize, a 2018 season ticket package. Play Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery for your chance to make this your winning season. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Each morning in Baton Rouge, we rise to meet opportunity we carry the weight of responsibility proudly. We choose our paths. We move fast and we fly high. We light the way for others to follow. We make it happen. But what really matters is what happens when we land at home. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. Back to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we come to you each week from Martha's Bistro, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway in Zachary, Louisiana. We invite you to come up, talk a little SU football with Coach and I. Coach, jumping back into this game from homecoming 2017, we're up 14-0 at the half. What do you tell your team to guard from a letdown? Uh, you, you're playing well, the team's playing well. What do you tell them to guard from a letdown uh, when you come, at, come out of halftime? Well, basically just tell them, you know, just 30 minutes left, man. Leave it all on the field. Uh, continue to play with, uh, with some passion and some energy. 
you know, have some fun, play with some excitement, and finish off this opponent. And, and really, that's what I thought they came out and did. Coach, I really thought Alabama A&M had a good squad. They had a decent record. I think they were 2-0 and in the swag. Um, but what I saw on defense really, really impressed me. We talked about it a little bit in the first segment. But again, I really got to go back to it. I mean, literally, uh, your guys have held them to 52 yards. And on the secondary, Coach, they're playing lights out. They're knocking people out. Well, I think you, you're starting to see them gel together. We, we changed the lineup, put some guys in position, different positions, and, you know, just rotating it and just making sure that we are fresh. And the good thing is, is that you're right, they're playing. And we give up 52 yards rushing, 199 passing. And when you can do that and keep people out of the end zone, you got a chance to enforce two turnovers. So I was pleased with their performance. Uh, we still left some plays out there. We can get a lot better, and, and that's the good thing is that we still haven't peaked yet. And I think offensive, defensive, and special teams, there's a lot of room for improvement. If we continue to get better going down the stretch, uh, I really think we have a great chance. Well, let's show the folks exactly what happened in the second half of homecoming 2017 on the field at A.W. Mumford Stadium. They get the ball, and bam, talk about a hit. Coach, a great hit right there by Aaron Tiller. Well, you know, that, that front four was hunting all night long, giving us a chance. There's Tiller with a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We had 15 hits on the quarterback. We might didn't get that many sacks, but those hits start adding up. Yeah, you got to love it, Coach. I mean, there we go I again. More the pressure. opportunity, but it's pressure, and that pressure leads to interceptions, and that's what it's about. Right. We get the ball on offense. You see it, Howard there getting knocked around a little bit. He got rid of it though, Coach, and uh, we got some yardage out of it by Herb Edwards. Yeah, yeah, hitting another freshman right here is Kendall Callon with the catch. I mean, those three freshmen that played, played lights out. There you see Herb taking it in from two out. Barajas with the good kick at this juncture. The score is 21-0. We're back on defense. Coach, Kentavious Preston Johnson, there again, ganging up on the running back. Well, you know, that's the kind of effort it's going to take. And, you know, they got in the end zone. They was able to score, but... It was a great was, stop by Augustine. Exactly. They played before, but they Good did football. finally score. It was 21-7 at this juncture. Great catch right there, Coach. That's Dylan uh, By Beard. Dylan Beard yep. doing what he does. And then Edwards takes one for 14, following yep. his block, following great the blocking. lanes. Great he was, blocking. It was a couple of steps from breaking it for a longer one. Tell you what, that's a nice ball there. Another freshman, Kendall Calon, making the catch. He goes right back to Catalan for four more. Then Herb does his thing for 14. Just, and, just good football being played by the Jags. And Howard comes back and hits Catalan for a touchdown, Coach. That was a bullet, and that young man pulled it out the air. And he threw it off the wrong foot. He was looking for Danny on that play, and uh, we had him in, and he came off into a secondary read. Barajas makes the extra point, and uh, we're up 28-7. Going back to his safety net, Dylan Beard. Then we punt, they go deep, get them a score. At this juncture, it's 28-14. As you can see, Dark has settled in on us. Coach, another sack by Aaron Tiller. And then, of course, Danny Johnson does his pick six thing. Coach, you got to be happy when you can get points produced by your defense. Well, exactly, and I thought, you know, coming into the game, if we could get some pressure on the quarterback, we'll have a chance to make some plays. Unfortunately, the sky dropped out toward the end there, but anyway, the Jaguars get the win, 35-14. When we come back, we'll look at our Alpha Media Players of the Week and have the Coca-Cola Player interviews on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. Stay with us. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. 
That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, each week in this segment, we bring you the Alpha Media Players of the Week. Coach, who were those Players of the Week on offense, defense, and special teams? Offensively, it was a true freshman rod receiver, Kendall Calon, had an outstanding day. Defensively, defensive lineman, C.J. Bryant, turned in a great performance. And special teams, we heard the name before, Danny Johnson. <laughs> Danny Johnson, incredible, incredible year he's having. Coach, after the game, uh, Joe caught up with a few of the players and uh, provided this Coca-Cola player interview. Homecoming 2017, as our Jaguars came out victorious against the AMM Bulldogs, I'm here with Herb Edwards. And Herb, you had an outstanding night. Over 119 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, see that it takes a little time for you to get going, about 20 carries, but you get it moving and grooving. How did you feel out there today? I felt great. I mean, we played against a good defense. You know, they weren't trying to give us nothing early, but, you know, you keep when you stay consistent with the run, it's bound to start to open up. Well, speaking about the run, what do you prefer, catching the ball or the run? Both. Both. It wouldn't be homecoming without our quarterback, Austin Howard. Austin, great game, great stats, over 195 yards, two touchdowns. How's the knee feeling? It's feeling better. You know, I'm getting better in treatment every day. So, you know, I'm going, up, going from here. Well, one of the great things is you got a good squad of backups. Uh, how do you like to back up John Lampley? Oh, man, he, he never seems to impress me. You know, uh, I expect that from him. You know, he, he's playing good right now. His confidence up. Matter of fact, today is birthday. So, I mean, he came out and did what he did to win our team a victory. Well, that's what I'm talking about. And also, what can we do as we move on into SWAC play to get more points? Uh, you know, just, just stick to the game plan. You know, whatever our coaches, whatever we go through, yeah, in practice, whatever we go over in practice, you know, just take it to the field and listen to our coaches. Man, our coaches are very smart. The game plan very smart. So, you know, whatever they whatever they're thinking, whatever they're talking about, that's what we roll with. I'm here with Danny Johnson and Danny. Like I said last time, they don't get the memos. Memo number one, don't throw it to you. Memo number two, don't kick it or punt it to you. Memo number three, if they put you in the offense and they throw it your way, you better cover you. Man, thank you for getting your first career touchdown with Southern. How did that feel? Yeah, it felt great. You know, we've just been practicing all week, you know, trying to keep it a secret. But I just feel like whenever I'm in the game, I'm going to make a play for the team. So I do whatever it takes for us to win. That's what I'm going to continue to do. Okay. Well, listen, not only that, let's just be real. You were a threat on offense. How did it feel to be incorporated in offense? You let us know that. But on defense, you got to pick six and took it back to the house. Is the defense doing their thing as we move on and swag play? Yeah, I, t I told you last time, you know, I feel like we're going to get better every week on defense. You know, and that's something we continue to hop on. And just being on offense, you know, just – I had that confidence, so, you know, I play receiver in high school, so I just feel like, you know, defense and offensively, when I'm in the game with the ball now, I got to go get it. That part, happy homecoming right here on the Jaguar Football Show. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Austin. And thank you, Herb. Coach, you know, the good thing about interviewing kids like that, they're, they're not just good football players, they're class young men. Well, exactly, you know, and I think that's what the program is all about is just – try to get guys prepared for society and you know the seniors have done a great job leading and I uh, just a testament to our program and how we run things and what we expect from these young men on and off the field. Coach of course we said it was homecoming 2017 and we actually uh, took a little time and went around campus and uh, got a chance to see some people and see some of the uh, revelry of homecoming and so we uh, took a couple of pictures and you know coach that guy knew what he was doing on the grill. That was a beautiful thing. These ladies were celebrating, I think, 20, 25 years in their sorority. That's actually my daughter and uh, two of my uh, friends. And okay. uh, Anna Jones, of course, everybody knows Anna yeah. and Tony Booker. 
uh, my daughter and Danny Dubrell. Yeah. But coach, everybody was out having a great time. Exactly. Uh, you know, the, the weather threatened and that probably made uh, the crowd half of what it would have been for homecoming. But the folks that actually came out, they actually had a great time. And we wanted to put some of those folks in the show because these are the people that actually watch the show sometimes. So we thank them for watching the show. And of course, we thank them for supporting Southern University football. Well, exactly. It's a fun time. You can see all the smiles, the weather, you know, was a little gloomy, but you know, you can't put, you can't help but see the smiles of the Jags on homecoming and hope everybody had a great time. Homecoming 2017, Coach True Blue, they raised $4 million. That's pretty impressive. Well, it's always great to see alumni raising money and giving back to Southern University. It means so much to all of us and it's been a great uh, institution to many of the lives of the young men and women today. And it's great to be able to see them give back and continue to make Southern University a proud place to attend. Well, happy homecoming to everybody again. And thanks for coming up on the bluff. When we come back, we're going to look ahead to our open week on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Baton Rouge, we rise to meet opportunity. We carry the weight of responsibility proudly. We choose our paths. We move fast and we fly high. We light the way for others to follow. We make it happen. But what really matters is what happens when we land at home. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. back to the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms where we come to you each week from Martha's Bistro located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway, Zachary, Louisiana. Coach and I were just trying to figure out what we're going to have after the show because everything looks so great. Coach, we got an open date coming this weekend and I'm sure you think it's coming at a great time. Get healthy, you know, and that's the biggest thing is rest and recovery, just try to find a way to get get some of my guys that are maimed up and beat up healthy and we're going to be smart this week and still get our work in but cut back a little bit on practice time and really try to nurture our guys back to good health. Coach, one of the things about coming off a great SWAC win and then having an open date is you get two weeks to prepare for one of our biggest SWAC rivals, Jackson State. Well, exactly. You know, we're introduced it this week and you know, we'll work on the game plan this week and then we'll finish it up next week. But this week is all about rest and recovery. You know, it's been six physical football games. Guys are a little tired, they're a little beat up. Our practice schedule, you know, we go in the mornings and that in itself take a toll on the body. So just trying to get these guys fully recovered for the down stretch because it's coming. You know, we know we got some tough football games ahead of us. Right out of the bye week, we go to Jackson State. It's a hostile environment, it's a bit rivalry. It's always a fun place to play and always a good football game. So we'll be excited about going on the road somewhere we haven't been able to, uh, something we haven't been able to do this year, and that's win on the road. Coach, off week means recruiting. How do you approach recruiting? Are you gonna, do you send your staff to somebody cover Lafayette, somebody cover New Orleans, somebody cover Baton Rouge, or do you really cover it by their specific players that you have had your eye on and you wanna go see those guys play? 
Well, every coach has an area, and then we, once we recruit that area, we start finding out what players we're going to be able to recruit. And we get names all the time, man, but at the end of the day, we want those individuals who want to go to Southern. And we'll have coaches out on the road, hopefully trying to find the next Jag. And the good thing is we've narrowed it down in state. We got an idea of the guys that we targeted. We already have some early commitments, so that's a good thing. So we're looking forward to just being able to go out and continue to work on the 2018 class. Well, there you have the method to the madness of Coach Dawson Odom's recruitment uh, trail. When we come back, we're going to wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom's. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Coach, we got a, a, a couple of seconds before we wrap up this week's show, but talking about recruiting, what are the biggest areas that you think we need some players at? Well, we're always looking at O-line and D-line, and uh, linebackers is a place that we targeted. We're losing some defensive backs, so, of course, cornerback will be a position that we address. You know, it's interesting, Coach, you always seem to have that next man up, so when people say, well, what are you looking for, you know, really everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Really recruiting everything. You're right. Try to find the best players to fit what we're doing. All right. Well, enjoy the open week, Jaguar Nation, and uh, we'll see you next week right here at Martha's Bistro for the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. Go, Go Jags! Jags.